Here we are now with the ASRock booth at CES 2019 in Las Vegas, Nevada. They have a few new motherboards on display, some which are going to be released very soon, some which in the next month. The first of which in the next month is the Steel Legend series on the B450 motherboards for AM4. And they've got here the B450M as well as the full-size variant. These have essentially a beefed up design on the VRM with better caps on board, also a better aesthetic with that camo look coming into play. Play. So if you're a PUBG fan, and for instance, you want a motherboard to go with your uh, fascination, then this is certainly going to please you no matter what. As for pricing, I'll keep you guys updated in the description, but right beside that is a very interesting new chipset. Not exactly a popular one, but a little bit different. So let's take a look. back to Tech Your City. We heard the rumors of the 14 nanometer shortage and it is coming into play now with a chipset being released to accommodate that shortage. This is the B365M and also normal sized variants. They feature a 22 nanometer design on the chipset itself, uh, losing that of the USB 3.1 Gen 2. However, ASRock have countered this with a unique design on the Phantom Gaming 4 series where they've added in their own USB 3.1 Gen 2 chip. They've also added in a beefed up VRM, uh, 12K Nichicon capacitors, as well as a sleek design on the right hand side of the board with a very unique design, I must say. If you guys are into sort of accents and different kind of curves, then this is surely going to look good in any case you wish to put it in. In terms of release dates for the Phantom Gaming B365M, that is going to be early February. The price is still yet to be determined, uh, but one thing about these boards is they will indeed support the 9900K. They've got A-phase VRM. RMs, but they've also got a mini ITX solution with onboard AC wireless and that's got a five phase VRM and that's touted to even support the 9900K too, which I will be putting to the test. So definitely stay tuned on the channel. And then last on the line with these motherboards is the Pro 4 which is coming out also on the B365 line. They've got the M variant and the full size variant, but you may notice a big aesthetic upgrade here with a big chunk of metal over the VRMs that deliver power to the CPU. Then we've got the M.2 heatsink, which is even thicker than some of the other designs I've seen on other ASRock boards and other manufacturers. And then a beefy steel heatsink on the chipset itself. Maybe with that 22 nanometer running a tad bit hotter, it might indeed need it. And in terms of the availability with the Pro 4, you can look at the end of January. So in about two weeks time, release date for this board. Prices are still yet to be confirmed, but I'm told they'll be roughly around $90 for the full size variant. Uh, USD MSRP and then for the M variant shave about $10 off for that. And now coming out of CES is also a new alliance from ASRock with their Phantom Gaming series going in combination with Team Group and also Cooler Master to give out some unique designs on memory as well as SSDs as well as RAM and what we got right beside me here the K500 Cooler Master case with the mesh front panel. And then behind me, they've also got the HP 500 with its mesh front panel as well. So basically the whole theme of this is if you want to match up your case with a Phantom Gaming graphics card as well as motherboard, then you'll have the whole combination from start to finish with this lineup of products. Now, in terms of pricing and availability with these two cases, we're looking at around early February. Uh, this one here, the HP 500 mesh with the three RGB fans included is going to look uh, like it's costing around $170. And then the K500 with its included RGB fans, I'm told is going to cost around 85 USD. And if you guys remember Computex 2018, there was the Team Force Delta RGB SSDs. Uh, these are the Phantom Gaming variant. Of course, they've just got that aesthetic added on board. You can get in a 250 or 500 gigabyte flavor or even a one terabyte variant. In terms of availability, they're actually already out on the market as of CES 2019. And then moving on to the memory, which is of course very important for Ryzen. They've got the Phantom Gaming in 3200 megahertz flavor, 3600 and also 4000. So pretty much the same as the Excalibur RGB that has already existed. And you get that Phantom Gaming aesthetic, which does look pretty sleek. I'm gonna be honest, I like the Gravis card look. If you combine this all together, I'm very keen to see what a build would look like at my home, on my desk, replacing the Air 540, which 
I don't know if I'm ready to replace it yet. And that's all we've got here at the ASRock booth for CES 2019. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of the new motherboards, what you think of the PGA. We're not talking about the Golf, we're talking about the Phantom Gaming Alliance. And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.